I guess we'll start with this because I seriously struggle with masculine cards, you guys. So we are going to use the Intaste Designer Series paper, but we're only using a tiny little strip of this pattern here. This reminds me of a jacket that my dad used to wear, honestly. Those tiny hands. I know, aren't they hilarious? Since the paper is gone, they said everything is gone with the exception of the textured paper or stamp set. Yes, the stamp set and the dies will carry over, um, and we've known that all along. It's just the paper that was exclusive to the uh, sale while supplies lasted. And, of course, the sale of the supply is gone, which is a serious bummer. Okay, so I'm going to be using a tiny strip of this. I guess it's some tweed. Maybe it's tweed. I'm not really up on fashion, so we're going to go with tweed. Um, and so we're going to be using the Whiskey Business Stamp Set. I've had this for a while, but I just haven't gotten it out to use it. Oh, the glare. Wow. Okay, there we go. Um, but I haven't used it yet. So we're going to use it today. So I have a basic black card base. I have an inside layer that is three and three quarters by five that I have already stamped a glass of whatever you drink, whiskey or what have you. I got your last retreat box. Yay. Perfect. Um, what else? Then I have a three and a quarter by four and a half inch piece of white and a three and three eighths by four and five eighths piece of cinnamon cider for a layer. And then I just went ahead and stamped a bunch of the decanters. At least I think that's what it's called. I'm not up on, I don't drink a whole lot. And when I do, it's usually a foofy thing like a Mike's hard lemonade or something. Um, so yeah. And then I stamped the glasses because I was practicing my uh, coloring and let's just say it didn't go very well because I'm not that great at coloring. But, you know, I try. Okay, so here's my little strip of tweed and then here is my half inch strip of cardstock that I'm going to stamp a sentiment on. So the first thing we're going to do is try to color. So we're going to color uh, one of the decanters and one of the glasses and then this glass from the inside. So... These are the blends that I'm going to use. Whoa. I'm throwing stuff around now. So I have a light cinnamon cider, a light mango melody, a light and dark saffron, a light pool party, and then the uh, color lifter. So this is kind of what I came up with earlier today when I was uh, doing it. And so... I kind of already have it done because I'm not going to be able to use my reading glasses because I'd have to have this thing. You guys wouldn't really be able to see because my head would be completely in the way. So I'm just going to try to show you what I did, recreate what I did, if you, uh, if that makes sense. And then we'll see what happens. So I did some light cinnamon cider and then I did leave um, white space. And then I came in with my light mango and I just kind of went around, did some light mango, did my white space. And then I came in with the, la, 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 the dark so saffron. And I just am trying to blend it all together. This is not turning out as well as my one earlier today did. Not gonna lie, maybe I need a little bit more of this. Um, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't. Coloring is just, I don't know. Some people are just so good at it, and other people stink. And I would be in the latter group there. Well, we did add a little bit of that, and since it's still kind of wet, it is kind of moving around a little bit for me, so it's not terrible. And then I'm just going to take my color lifter and I'm just going to kind of go over the center of that just to lighten that up a little bit. So then what I would do is I would come over here and do the exact same thing on the other side. So I will purposely leave some white space in the center. I'm really hoping that when I get my new glasses after I get my cataract fixed that I can actually see well enough that I can color, uh, you know, good for you guys because I really kind of feel bad that you know I'm supposed to be a professional but yet here we are and my coloring is not that good but you know we do what we can with what we have and right now I have a bad eye so there you go all right so we'll bring that saffron back in I guess the more I'm looking at it it's not awful I'm just trying to 
you know, use these lighter colors to kind of get that. Oops, I just went out of the line right there. Sometimes you can use the color lifter to push it back in. Sometimes you can't. All right, so we'll just use a little bit there. So there's the decanter. Meh, not terrible. And now we need two glasses. So I'm going to do basically the same type of thing. Um, but I, oh, I don't know. I'm not, I, th I was looking at um, uh, one of the artisan team members, I think, or one of the Stampin' Up! designers. And they actually colored the ice cubes too. And so at first I was like, coloring the ice cubes? But obviously, you know, if the ice cube is in the glass, it's not going to be clear. So this was what I really, really struggled with, was the ice cube. And so we're going to sort of see what happens. So this is the light, so saffron. And so we just kind of went over that. I kind of feel like I need to add some more of this uh, booze color, I guess, for lack of a better word, some of this whiskey color. Well, maybe I should bring it in. See, like I said, I'm just, I'm really struggling with what to do with these ice cubes. I just, I don't know. I feel like they shouldn't be totally booze colored, but yet, you know, I don't, gosh, I don't know. If anybody has any great tips for me, I would love to hear it. Whoops, that was the light. Okay. Um, oh, you know what? There is booze up here around this top rim so we need to get we need to get that too okay so yeah could be better could be worse and we're going to do one of these so we'll do the same thing oh my i think i have the wrong end of this this is like really putting the color down oh well like i said you know practice makes perfect I've only been stamping for 18 years, so <laughs> one of these days, I'm going to get it. My dad used to drink something called Cuddy Sark, if I remember right. Now, I don't know if it was a whiskey or what it was. I don't know. But I remember he had this empty bottle, and it was pretty big, like as a display item. Um, I just remember that for some reason. That's all I remember about that. Okay. I don't know, you guys. Eh, it is what it is. All right. Makes me want to rum and coke. <laughs> me too. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to cut that one out. I'm going to cut this other one out that I did earlier. Oh, geez. So then I had my writing on there. All right, so I'm going to try to quickly cut this. I should have cut them out earlier, and I actually meant to, but then I got distracted doing some last-minute uh, things here before I actually went live, and then I forgot. So you guys are going to have to watch me cut, and I know that that's extremely boring. Um, yeah. But I guess I could tell you the way I cut. So when I cut stuff, I open and close my blade with my right hand. That's all my right hand does is open and close the blade. It does nothing about guiding the paper around. My left hand does all the guiding of the paper. The right just simply opens and closes the blades. So I don't know if that will help any of you that struggle with fussy cutting. Sometimes fussy cutting can be well, kind of a pain, honestly, um, unless you're watching TV and don't have anything else to do. Then it's not so bad. And the glass is going to go really, really fast. Okay. So this is one that I colored earlier. It's it's pretty close to that one, I would say. Or do I have another cup that looks better than this? See, here are the cups I was working on earlier today. Actually, I think this one does look a little bit better. We're going to go with this one. And I threw away... Oh, I should have shown... I should have saved them. The ones that I did that were just terrible. Um, I tossed them. But... Okay, so all of that time just to get a decanter and a cup. So I'm going to save these because, you know, then I could make another card. All right, so let me get those out of the way, put back in this little package. Then I wanted to do a tiny bit of masking because I wanted to add, I think this is like a lemon rind or something um, that goes with this set. And so 
I did cut myself a mask out of copy paper. And so I'm going to just mask this. And when you mask something, you want to, you don't want to put it right to the edge. You want to pull it away from the edge just a touch. So I am pulling it that way just a little bit so that when I actually stamp this, it is actually going to look like it's behind the glass. Okay. How do we want it to go? I don't even know. We're just going to, we're just going to wing it like that. And then we'll remove the mask and then there's our little rind. And so we can, if we so desire, and I'll try to color that. Actually, I'm going to wait. I'm going to give it a couple seconds to dry before I actually do that because I don't want to, I don't want to ruin it. And I actually didn't use this. Um, in the description that I was looking at of a card that Stampin' Up! had made, they did say that they um, used pool party. So I don't know if they just lightly put it onto the ice cubes or something so it looked like water. I don't know. But um, it didn't work for me, so I didn't do it. Okay. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Yeah, oh, then that was a tip. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Yeah, I learned that a long time ago. Not to move your right hand at all. Just move your left hand around and snip, 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 and you'll get her done good. Okay. So now this layer here, I'm going to do a little bit of blending, blending brush with some cinnamon cider ink. Ugh. Get that open. And I need a scratch paper. And I need a clear block. I think I showed you guys this tip last week that I learned from a Canadian demonstrator. Um, that when you're actually like working with a lot of the ink, you, so you would obviously rub your brush into the ink and get ink on it. But you don't want all that ink to start out with because that's too much. So you need to get some of that off. So if you put it on a clear block or your Stamparatus plate, then you can still use it. So you don't actually like waste it. Um, you know, getting it into the paper. So that way you don't have to rough up your pad so much. So I'm just kind of adding a little bit of ink here in this corner. And I'm going to flip this around and I'm going to add some ink down in this corner too. So we'll just kind of blend until the ink is pretty light. And then we'll go ahead and pick up a little bit more off the block. So I'll just pick up a little more there. Start off the paper always. And we'll just add a little bit. So I kind of want it dark up here in the corner. Hopefully this isn't too wiggly for you. So you can see how that's getting a little bit darker. And I can come back in here and take some more of that. And get it just nice and dark right there in the corner. And I want to do the same thing down here too. Because at first I had it where when I was making the card today. Or practicing the card. I, it was just, the paper was just white. And that just was, that was just too much. Too much white. So I thought, what can I do to kind of add something to it? I didn't want to stamp anything else. So I thought, oh, let's go ahead and do some uh, blending. So there we go. So all I have to do is just like wipe this off or run it under the sink. So I will throw that behind me so I don't end up sticking my fingers in it. Okay. Oh, Carol likes my tip about the block. Well, thank Lindsay Mahan. It was her idea, I think. Okay. So now I am going to, where's my little skinny strip? I need to stamp a sentiment. So my sentiment that I'm going to use says straight up you're the best and so i'm going to do that in some early espresso oh i know what i have to tell you guys i'm so excited about this um you can see this is an old style stampin up pad you know i, I had never replaced my pads um of course I, the new pads are in the new style but i've never replaced those because i'm just like well you know they still work i don't want to just you know throw my money away because there's a lot of things i'd like to have besides you know new ink pads but I decided that I was going to go full on with the Stampin' Up! storage for the ink pads and the markers and everything uh, because I still have the super old spinny around thing. You can probably hear it here. And it's just not, it's just not working for me anymore. I want everything to be right where I can see it right in front of me. So I'm like, this is my stamping area. And right above me, I have this kind of shelf that goes like this and then it comes down. So it's on the table. So I have stuff that's back here and then I have stuff up on this table or this shelf. And so that's where all my ink pads and markers and stamping blends and everything are going to go. I just decided yesterday with the free shipping special, I'm going for it. And so I did. I got all 10 uh, stamp holders. I got the ink refill holders. I got a couple of the blank open boxes. I got a lid or two. And so I'm going to show you guys. Um, I'll post it on my Facebook page here when I get it done. I'll post the before and the after so you guys can see uh, what I did. And I'm actually super excited about this. I got my husband to help me and yay. Okay. 
So here is our sentiment. And I think I'm actually going to cut that off a little bit because uh, my decanter and my cup need to go um, at the end. I guess it's not really a cup when you're drinking fancy stuff. It's a glass. So my glass. Okay. And then my little strip of designer series paper. I literally just saw it. Oh, here it is. That's going to go underneath. So I guess I can go ahead and whoops, add some glue to this little strip here. Oops, I don't want to have too much glue. I don't need, you know, geez, it's squirting out all over the place. But I just wanted a little bit of something underneath my sentiment. I just felt like I needed something else besides just the white cardstock. Even with the um, color on there, it still seemed like it needed something. So, of course, my eyes are terrible. Uh, is that even? Oh, I smeared it. All right, this is a do-over. Hold on. We're going to take the paper off this. Ah, okay. Hold on. I got to get a new strip of paper. Thankfully, I have a ton of them right here. And I'm going to stamp that again. Oh, and that was perfectly straight, too. Oh, you know what? I'm... No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm talking to myself as I'm stamping here for you guys. Okay. So we're going to try to get that again. Uh, that's what happens when you're a professional. You screw stuff up. All right, so let's try not to touch that now. And we're gonna, the glue should still be good. And we will not touch that. Oh, maybe the glue isn't so good on this end, so we're gonna add a little bit down here. Whoops, get it in the frame so you guys can see. And now it's not straight. Ugh! Struggle is real today, you guys. Oh, seriously. Give me a break. <sighs> Take a deep breath. It's fine. It's a piece of paper. Okay, how's that look? Is that is that even even? <laughs> I think it is. Okay, finally, we got a handle on it. Okay. Next, we can add this to this since we're going to let that dry before we actually touch it anymore. Oh, get that started. Get our seal going here. Whoops, get off. Okay. And we'll just have a slight border here. You guys can see me, you would laugh. I have one of my eyes closed, my one that I'm legally blind in, because uh, I can't line things up anymore. <laughs> Pam says she must be a really good professional. Absolutely, Pam. Okay, then I have a little bit of the cinnamon cider uh, ribbon, and I have a little tiny piece that I already cut off, and I just shaped it into a V, and I'm just going to add this right here on the end, on the edge. And there's a piece of tape already on there, so there it is. So I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to trim off um, the end so they look a little nicer. There we go. And that. Okay. Then, oh, we can try to put this on. Do I want to put it on with dimensionals or no dimensionals? I think I'm going to go no. I think I'm just going to go straight on a liquid glue just because it's a skinny strip. And again, I'm trying not to touch it. I wonder if there's something with my pad that it's because it's um, smeary. I don't know. Maybe my new pad. I'm actually kind of excited about that. Because I've been, not that my, like I said, my old pads are totally fine for the most part. I don't have any issues with them. But the new, the old style pads don't fit in the Stampin' Up! storage system. That's why I had to replace them. These are a little bit too deep and they don't slide in the slots really nicely. So um, that was why I had to, because I wasn't even thinking about the pads. I was just going to get the storage system. And then as I was thinking what I needed to get, all of a sudden it dawned on me and I thought, oh my gosh, I have to do something else because the pads aren't going to fit in there. So then I, then I had to get all new pads. Not all new, only the ones that I didn't have, obviously, because some of them I have already replaced because, well, not replaced, but they're new colors and all new colors come, you know, in the new... Whoops, that's supposed to go here in the new style. Okay, and the little mini dimensional up here on the decanter. And we'll peel the backings off. And, and then I struggled about if I should add color up here, but I tried. And every time I tried, it, it looked terrible. 
So I opted to just leave it as it is and not mess around with it. Okay. So, and then we'll have a glass here and I'm purposely putting them cockeyed so I don't have to try to get them to be straight because I can't see very well. And every time I do anything and I try to have it be straight, it's not. And so we'll just purposely make it not straight. So then it won't be. All right. So we're doing dimensionals again. And then we'll line this up, hopefully straight or even there. And then this for the inside, I was going to stamp one more sentiment. I have another sentiment here that came in the set that I thought might be good for the inside. Oh, I got a color of that little uh, lemon rind too. So hold on, I'll get that done. There we go. So here is our... This is the mango, so I think the mango should work just fine for it to be lemon. And it probably isn't lemon all the way through, but you know what? I don't care. It's my card, and I want it to be yellow all the way. There. Okay. Then my last sentiment says, cheers to you. So we're going to ink that up. I think that's good, and we're going to stamp it. Actually, purposely we're going to stamp it over on the side because that way I don't have to line it up. Hmm. There. Okay, and it's done. So this is a guy card, and I'm actually doing a blog hop on Saturday. And this is going to be my card that I'm going to have on my blog hop. So all the dimensions and some directions, and then I'll link to actually I'll link to this Facebook Live um, when it when the blog post goes live. Oh. There was one more thing I had in here. I forgot about these, and I just found them in my collection of goodies. These are the Antiqued Corners and Slides, and I only have these left. I have one slide and two Antiqued Corners, and I kind of thought maybe I could throw this up here, and then it would just add another little, I don't know, some fun. So we're going to do that. You would feel like a new person once you're, I, I know, Vicki, I can hardly wait to get my eye fixed. Now that I decided to do it, now I'm, I'm just dying to get it done. So, and April 20th is the day that I actually see the doctor, which of course is not going to be the day that the surgery happens, but I'm hoping that shortly after that will be the surgery and I won't have to wait too long. So we shall see. Okay, I got to close my eye. There. Okay, yay. All right, so I'll let you guys take a gander at that while I do a little cleaning here.